hi, I'm Robin. I work at the Ministry of Justice uh, and I work on a team who are modernising our approach to record linkage. So the talk today is going to focus uh, on our probabilistic record linkage software, which is called Splink. Uh, and this is a free and open source tool that we've developed to tackle some of the really big record linkage problems that we have at the Ministry of Justice. But what I'm going to talk about today, none of it's specific to MOJ data, so you can use this software to tackle your own record linkage problems. So uh, at MOJ, we've got many different large scale sources of administrative data from prisons, probation courts, that sort of thing. But there's no uh, single unique identifier which appears in all of these systems. And this means that we have to use personal identifiers to link data together, which is to say we're main, mainly using things like people's names, their dates of birth, that sort of thing, to try and work out uh, whether they're the same person. In terms of the technical challenges uh, we faced on this project, uh, the, the biggest one is that there's tens of millions of records which need to be both uh, deduplicated and linked. Uh, and those data sets, there's also a variety of different data formats and types, so we need quite a flexible solution uh, if we want to do a, 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 have a consistent approach to linking that can work with all of these different data formats. Uh, why did we decide to build a new piece of software than, than rather than just use what's already out there? Uh, we found there's a fast link uh, package in, uh, programmed in R called FastLink. Uh, that performs comparatively well, it's rigorous, there's a formal academic paper supporting its methodology, uh, however, it doesn't scale very well. So the FastLink paper itself, actually, it's got a useful chart on it, which is reproduced on the slide, and it shows how the uh, uh, how long it takes to, uh, to to link and deduplicate records depending on the data set size. We see that FastLink is is uh, the fastest here, uh, and as data set size goes up to three hundred thousand, there we can see that the record linkage is taking almost uh, ten hours. I think that is. So you can imagine with tens of millions of records, that's just not going to be practical at all. And that's why we set out to develop a new piece of software, uh, which is called Splink, and that's now available uh, on the internet for you to download. So in terms of the aims of Splink, uh, what it does is it works at much greater scale uh, than current open source implementations. So it scales up to more than 100 million records uh, and you get results a lot faster. So run times are typically less than uh, an hour, even for very large linkage problems. Uh, we've got a very transparent methodology so that our match scores can be explained both graphically and in words. Uh, in terms of what this has been used for, um, our biggest linked data set links and deduplicates around 20 million records from the Magistrates Court, the Crown Court, Prison and Probation. Uh, this involves many hundreds of millions of record comparisons. Uh, and this link is now automated, meaning that it can be refreshed uh, by running on a schedule. Um, so at the moment that runs every seven days and automatically refreshes the link data. So I think that this is a, a real success story actually. So we work very closely with uh, Office for National Statistics uh, throughout this. Uh, in, in fact, uh, their methodology team, uh, we met with them early on and uh, to understand how they did uh, record linkage. Uh, they were much more ha had much more theoretical expertise than us, and also had working record linkage software. Um, so really, that sparked off a, a collaboration where where what what Splink does is very much taking uh, some of the method uh, methodology that was already be, being used on, say, the census at ONS, turning it into a, a more complete software package with with tests. Now that works uh, complete, we've been working with ONS more, and I, I know that they're currently using Splink on some some of their other record linkage. Uh, so, um, so that's one example of collaboration. There's also a couple of other government departments who are, who are trying um, it out and indeed quite a few people in the private yeah. sector. So I think at the moment we've seen, uh, I think we just passed 400,000 downloads of the software, so it's, it's being quite widely used. Uh, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, on this slide, we've got the, the link uh, for Splink, but you can also just type in Splink record linkage into Google if you want to find the software. There's an interactive demo you can do uh, on our homepage uh, where you can load up a, a Jupyter Notebook in your browser and just try the software out. Uh, but I think the key thing I'd like to say here is that Splink uh, is something that can be used for lots of different record linkage tasks. So if you're interested in giving it a try in your department, please do get in contact with either me or my colleagues, uh, Sam and, and Theodore, and we'd be really happy to, to help you out. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Well, now we'll all remember the Green Cross Code and use it. Splink! <laughs>